morning <laughs> day three out for a run it's about quarter to eight so yes it's early but um we always go for a run on other day it's a bit of a tradition and you can't not go when you've got views like that you feel a bit tired to start with but you'll feel great afterwards and we should be able to jump in the pool and then let's see what the rest of the day brings us on travel home day day number three so i think people worry about going for a run while they're on holiday because they don't know where they are or yeah bit scared or whatever but just get out there and go for it go for a run um, especially in Tenerife it's really safe nowadays with modern technology your phone will have maps on it so you can find your way back to your hotel if you if you're worried just start with um, start on your first day with a small loop just four rights and you'll end up back where you started just give it a go you never know you might like it go Torviscas? Torviscas. Playa de Torviscas. And we're back from our run. We made it, Rubes. <laughs> we made it. Oh, so that was beautiful on the way down, along the beach, and then it was hard graft on the way back up. But um, we've now earned some breakfast. Yes. Definitely. We've still got to earn yesterday's breakfast and dinner, but we'll earn that another time. But for now, we've earned our breakfast. So we're having a coffee by the pool of the hotel. Yeah, nice. it's like it's like a weird two set out place. So you've got sort of posher restaurant one side, and then a nice little greasy spoon bar the side right uh, the door. other side. We yeah. prefer the greasy spoon. We do. We <laughs> sat the posh bit is just just there next door. But another beautiful day in Tenerife. Our last day. Nice and warm, Tom. You can do We're it. Brave in the water. Ready. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Oh. That's very cold. <laughs> Is it cold? It's all right. It's lovely. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get in. <laughs> you remind me of the seal in Siam Park. <laughs> so the pool in 
Ramada Resorts is heated, <laughs> which was nice when you do a bomb straight in without knowing, so that was good. Ruby's going to get in now, aren't you? Um. So I've told Ruby that the pool is heated and I've put on a really brave yeah, face so she believes me. Are you ready, Ruth? No. Come on. Fingers and ears. Go. Oh, it's actually okay. It's <laughs> oh. nice. Why wake up? <sighs> so yeah, just we have to keep remembering that it is the 9th of <laughs> August. Oh, actually, it's the 10th today. <laughs> the 10th no, we December. have to keep remembering. <laughs> that it's the 10th of December as we swim around in a very deep open air pool. <laughs> oh. Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so the pool's massive as well. It's, it's nice really and long. deep. Oh it's shallow here as well. It's a bit shallow here. Oh. It's a lovely, lovely temperature actually. It it's not too hot, nice. not too cold. So we've decided to have breakfast here after all. Another day, another breakfast. <laughs> Scottish and English breakfast. There we go. Chilling by the pool still. Nice relaxing morning before heading home. Black pudding looks good, look. <laughs> So, safe to say, we both enjoyed that. What did you think, Tom? That was real good. You just caught me mid burp. <laughs> I did, I saw that. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Gonna push the button, Tom. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. oh thinking it. You got there. I'm getting them, I'm getting them. That is really lovely. So while we're in here, should we do a review of the Ramada by Wyndham? Yes. So we got here on Friday night, check-in was at four, which isn't too, too bad. Um, we've got a lovely apartment. Uh, we asked for a sea view, and that's exactly what we got. Spectacular view. Um, really close to all the amenities. The little bar area is very affordable. Swimming pool's great, massive pool, and it's heated, so good all year round. Um, you can definitely do lengths in there in the morning if you'd like to. Uh, parking's reasonable. It did get a bit busy in the evening, but we, to be fair, we always found the space. Uh, what else was there? Um, jacuzzi's really nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Checkout's at 10 in the morning. Uh, it's really well located. You're sort of where we were on our run this morning we was down by the beach i'd say probably a 20 minute walk down to the beach really but yeah, um it's less than two kilometers yeah but lots of people use uh, the scooters here and you can get a taxi the taxis are really reasonable or you could rent a car like we did which is again quite reasonable if you don't drink i don't drink so we can whiz around all day and all night so we can get um get up here no problem at all so yeah, we'd definitely recommend a stay at the Ramada residencies. Yeah, I'll definitely come again. Yeah, uh, where I think it'd be really good for kids. There's a kids club. Um, we can see some of the staff wandering around, already starting to do some games. When we came back yesterday, there was a violinist, wasn't there? Yeah, violin. in the restaurant. Clean, really, really yeah. clean. When we got here, I haven't seen. Spain's renowned for cockroaches and stuff like that. We haven't seen anything it's immaculate. Uh, the bed was super comfy. The kitchen was immaculate again. All appliances were clean, was brand new. Yeah, so for what it is, it's very, very good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna chill out now. This is the end of uh, the first part of the video. We're gonna go over to Los Gigantes and hopefully grab some lunch because we haven't eaten enough this holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch you at Los Gigantes. Bye.
So we're here at Los Gigantes, parked precariously on the mountainside. <laughs> so this is our last little trip of the weekend on day number three. Just come to have a look at this. Um, it's pretty, there's a nice little cafeteria and walk along here um, that we're gonna have a look at. It wasn't too bad, it was about a 20 minute drive from Costa Radecki, yeah. so just down the road really but some pretty cool views and a much more sort of rugged coastline. So I think this is where you do a lot of your whale watching and stuff like that is from this side, um, this area. Got some signs up there. Got some signs, we'll show you some bits and bobs. Oh, there here you go, so there's some whale watching signs here. type of whales we've got. 18 meters. That is massive. What? Is that um what type of whale is that? Looks like a killer whale. That looks like a killer fair. whale, yeah or a minky whale. Yeah, orcas, oh so you've got orcas here. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Cachalote. And then you've got smaller ones. Normal dolphins, all types of dolphins. Oh look, there's the scale, there's the person to scale. So look how big that is. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's La Palma. That looks like a sperm whale, doesn't it? The big head. Oh, so there's La Palma. And there's La Gomera. So you can just about see La Gomera over there. So La Palma is over there somewhere. We could see on the way in, on the car trip, we'll be able to spot it. I'll be able to point it out to you. But yeah. You can see all the little boats doing their boat trips out there. And then you've got this nice little gift shop. Which hopefully we can sit down and have a coffee with this fantastic view. <laughs> <laughs> Our own little Tenerife and cactus. And the usual ones. Not too bad price, either three quid for an ice cream. I'd quite like an ice cream room. Yeah, I'd have an ice cream. But you want the pistachio. Pistachio is yeah. my favourite. What one would you have? Oh, we've got the Dolce de Leche one. So the cakes look good, don't they? That looks amazing. Look good, don't they? Pistachio. So that's not a bad ice cream. With a beautiful view. I recommend coming to Los Gigantes Cafe, halfway up a mountain. Beautiful views, and really, really good quality ice cream. I don't know how much it is, but with, with everything in Tenerife, it won't be that. It won't be that bad, yeah. Also got the traditional um, Tenerifean coffee, which is Cafe Leche Leche which I think is condensed milk and normal milk. So really low calorie and perfect for a diet. <laughs> ah, we're just... It'd be tasty. We went for a run once this weekend, so that eradicates everything essentially we've eaten. So it's fine. <laughs> Oh, 
So the price for our two larger ice creams, an apple tizer and a coffee was only thirteen euro forty. Not bad at all. Yeah, very good. just parked up in the harbour in Los Gigantes. It was very difficult, I must say. There's cars coming both ways. Both ways and a very narrow road, so but look at the view. This is nice, isn't it? So we was right up there somewhere. And now we're down the bottom. <laughs> Where were we actually? Somewhere up there. Right up here somewhere, aren't we? Anything of any interest? No? Some rubbish? Oh, a black crab! Look there! Oh, yeah, look. On, right? oh, they're everywhere! I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, there's crabs! Wow! There's a big one down there. This one. Yeah. You can see it's just there. They look a bit like rocks from here, don't they? I don't have my glasses. They might be soft shell crabs. They do look like soft. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, there's loads. Oh, there's baby ones. The red ones you can eat. Oh, really? Yeah, the black ones you shouldn't really eat. Fifteen minutes free parking will be up now. It took you that long to park. I know. Oh, is that what it is? Thing? Yeah. It's Fifteen minutes free, and you know it's thirty-six cents a minute. After that, is it? After that, yeah. Are oh, they wallet? Not good. every thirty seconds, sorry. Is it? Every thirty <laughs> seconds. So if you stay twenty-five minutes, it's going to cost you thirty-six uh, three euro sixty. Oh and then God. after that, every half and every ten minutes is another three sixty. So it's not cheap to park in here. No, no, no. we won't be here long, that's for sure. We can't actually get out. We get 15 minutes free. Let's see if we've made it on time. If not, I'm going to have to make a runner. Scan it, Tom. Hey. Yay, we made it. Hey. So we're at the airport. We're dropping off the car. Hired with Sanesty car hire. Brilliant. So dropped it off, pick it up from the same spot. No issues, no problems. Let us pay in cash as well, which is double good. Um, now we're just picking our hand luggage up and we're just about to tackle the airport, which is heard's quite busy, but we'll see. I don't think it'll be too bad. When you don't have to go through baggage because you've only got hand luggage, um, it's nice and simple, really. It's like catching a bus. So there's check-in over there, in. huge queues. So if you can do online check-in and come with hand luggage, you're gonna save yourself a lot of pain. Are we 202 to 204? A two-day holiday again. Yes, next weekend? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was brilliant. It was it's a little bit on the tiring side, don't get me wrong, but, um, it's 100% worth it. You just got to get out there, give a chance. I know lots of people worry about delays and oh, what about if we can't do this and what about if we can't do that. But what about, you might as well find out. Find out, you have a bit of fun. And what if you lost really if it goes wrong? Nothing. You can always book another one another time and try again. One nil against Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and we've got an aeroplane seat so we, we can do see a window seat.